Hey, this is Dr. Jeff Dolgus, and today I wanted to give you a quick tip on how to measure and maintain good mandibular range of motion. For this technique, we're going to use my favorite physical therapy tool, the Buffalo TMJ Kick the Click Cork. Now the reason I like this cork is because it's 44 millimeters exactly in height and 23 millimeters exactly in diameter. This gives us a reasonably good uh, range of motion in maximum interincisal distance to shoot for. And it also gives us about half of that distance, about the distance that somebody should be able to open even with a disc dislocation, even when it's an acute disc dislocation to 23 millimeters so that they could begin to improve and increase their range of motion from that point. Now the first thing we're gonna do with this exercise is get a sense for what normal mandibular range of motion is measured at the distance between the upper and lower front teeth. For this, we're gonna take the cork and we're gonna place it on top on the edges of the lower front teeth like this. And we're gonna allow the upper teeth, so I'm gonna think in my mind, I want my upper teeth to crawl up that cork, to slowly climb up the cork. So it'll look like this. Now the reason I want you to think about climbing your upper teeth up the cork, rather than using the cork as a tool, to push down on your lower teeth is because the thought of climbing up the cork with your upper teeth tends to get the muscles in your cervical spine and your back to stretch your head upward, which is one of the things that we want to do with any kind of TMJ therapy is we want to do exercises in physical therapy type modalities that will help to stretch and decompress the vertebrae in the cervical spine. The second exercise that I'm going to have you do is just lateral side to side range of motion. For this, you're also going to use your cork. You're going to place it in between the upper and lower edges of your front teeth, and you're going to roll the cork gently side to side, back and forth. You're going to begin with very short movements, and you're going to increase the length of your roll side to side as you do each repetition. We're going to do five repetitions to each side. It will look like this. Now notice, when I did the roll side to side, you didn't see my lip helping. You didn't see my facial muscles trying to assist the movement of the lower jaw. So it didn't look like this. One of the things that I notice with patients who have TMJ problems is that there's an incoordination between the facial muscles, meaning the muscles of facial expression, the ones you use when you smile and when you frown, and the muscles that close and move the mandible, your jaw closure muscles, your chewing muscles. These groups of muscles are controlled by two very different nerves. With TMJ problems, the nerve that we're targeting is the trigeminal nerve. So we want to use the muscles that are controlled by the trigeminal nerve when we're doing these range of motion exercises. So if you look in the mirror and you see yourself contorting your face and making funny facial expressions when you do them, try to control that, go slower, and focus on just moving the lower jaw or just moving the lower teeth. So that's it, that's your tip for today. If you'd like to get one of these Buffalo TMJ Kick the Click Corks, I'll leave a link in the description below. I hope you enjoy this exercise and I hope you find it helpful. If you'd like to see more content like this, please hit subscribe. I'm Dr. Jeff Dolgus and I'll see you next time.